A good place to start any project is by taking apart what someone else has already done. We had this windmill. It's kind of a low power windmill meant for sailboats. And we decided to take it apart, of course. Inside, we found a rotor that had a series of magnets around the outside of it, facing coils of wire. It looked pretty intricate in there, and we wanted to understand just what was going on. Here's our final 3D printed prototype using very similar ideas from that real window. We wound 12 coils with magnet wire. This is 30 gauge magnet wire, which is lightly insulated wire. We wound it on our old sewing machine, which we used back when we created some electric guitar pickups. Check out that article to see how we counted the number of windings using a magnet and a reed switch. In each of the 12 coils, we made about 230 turns. The rotor, or the rotating part of the motor, uses eight block magnets. We used one of our step block magnets because it has a nice little inset notch on the side, which made it easy to attach it into this 3D printed part. We assembled them so that the poles facing outward alternated. So if one magnet has the north pole facing out, the next one has the south pole facing out. And this continued for all eight magnets, north, south, north, south. Each of the 12 windings snapped into place onto a holder that also had a ball bearing in it. These ball bearings we stole from an old fidget spinner, which nobody seems to use anymore. So we had two handy for this project. We installed a long quarter inch bolt through the center of this stator assembly. In the middle of it is the rotor, the rotating part of the motor that has the eight magnets on it. If we do it right, the rotor should spin freely in the center of these coils of wire. With the whole thing put together, the center rotor spins pretty freely. We're ready to wire it up. We wired up the stator in a three phase kind of a Y configuration, hooked into a diode bridge to normalize the output into a DC voltage output. Spin it by hand, we get three, four, five volts. It lights up an LED and shows a clearly visible trace on the oscilloscope. If this works this well spinning it by hand, we should be able to get a decent amount of power in the wind with an actual wind turbine. This cardboard mock-up is pretty rough, but it shows the generator works pretty well. Here's a nice zoom-in shot of the eight magnets spinning freely inside the 12 coils. Right.
Cool. Wow.